News, reviews, and other info from the mind of Eve McMahon. Sometimes I kind of had an energy drink instead of coffee. It was a bad idea. Let's get this started. You know, I've been thinking about playing Airsoft a lot lately because that's something that I do not maybe as much as I want to. Uh, and part of that is because I'm, I'm, I'm busy and as an adult that's busy, you pick and choose what you make time for. And I don't know why I'm bringing that up in this video, but we should talk about that sometime. You know, the other day we were playing Airsoft and, um, and uh, I came across, I came around a corner um, and I was just face to face with another airsofter and in surprise he uh, yanked on his trigger instead of doing like this uh, and shot me in the chest. And it got me thinking about the engagement rule. Now I'm an old school airsofter, I would like to assume, I mean 10 years isn't really old school airsoft, I've been around for quite a long time and 10 years is really kind of small in comparison but man, man. for me I've been around for a while and uh, back when I started there really was no engagement rule. You run up on somebody and light them up in the face if you'd like, in the throat perhaps. And it got me thinking about the uh, the engagement rule because, uh, personally, I don't feel that there should be one. As long as uh, appropriate protection is required. Yes, full seal eye protection is a definite requirement on, like, every airsoft field known to man since the beginning of time. Because if you get your eyes shot out, then your mom or grandmother would have been right for saying that when you were a child, and that, we just don't want that. Why do we have engagement rules? Well, some fields don't have them uh, still, and I think that they're kind of doing something a little bit different, and I've played at a couple fields that don't have engagement rules, and uh, it really makes the gameplay interesting because when you don't have an engagement rule, uh, there's a lot more uh, fear, apprehension, maybe a little bit of nervousness that nervousness that goes around with playing uh, airsoft. When you come around a corner, you know, you're... You're not worried about somebody just bang, banging you or surrendering you or uh, putting you at a dead to rights. Instead, you have to actually be concerned about being shot in the side of the face. Uh, and for everybody else that's not okay with the engage, that, that, that is okay with the engagement rule and think I'm just completely ridiculous. Dude, I totally understand where you're coming from. I mean, there has to be some level of safety. And not having an engagement rule could be deemed as irresponsible. I totally understand that. I just like to live on the edge a little bit. Sometimes I park outside the line. Speaking of living dangerously, I parked in my spot at Oric today, and then Shades pulls up and like right next to my car. Now I have a two-door vehicle, and that means that my doors are longer than a standard four-door car, and I can't open them very easily. And I'm also six foot two, so that means climbing over a seat to get out the other door is not the easiest prospect in the world. And when Shades is sitting there half smiling and giving you a thumbs up, and you're frustrated because you're already a little bit late to work and you haven't had your morning coffee, all of a sudden, you know, you're trying to exit a vehicle that you don't get out of very easily, and the whole morning just goes beautifully after that. So anyway, that's what I was thinking about the engagement rule. I would really like to know um, what you guys think because I feel like that topic doesn't get brought up enough. And maybe it shouldn't. But for the time being, we're going to talk about it here. Comment in the section below what you guys think about the engagement rule, whether it's necessary, um, whether you'd like to see more or less fields have an engagement rule. Let's get this discussion going. I'm really interested in reading your guys' comments. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really fired up about doing this, uh, this math mind thing, and I'd really like to hear from you guys and kind of, uh, kind of start that. So, uh, if you guys have any future questions for something I could talk about, ramble on, uh, get excited about, by all means, comment that in the section below as well, and I'll read those and try to talk about some other stuff that I find interesting, as long as it's relating to airsoft. I suppose it doesn't have to. I mean, it's up to you guys. I talk about whatever. I can talk about energy drinks. Yeah!